some people say that their main goal in life is to find a job that can make them rich. That's one of the consequences, but it is not the real reason. Actually, we are all working to change the history of mankind, to create advanced solutions that will make life easier and happier for everyone. I'm Tini Park, I am an assistant professor in Emerging Material Science. The foremost characteristic of majoring in Emerging Material Science is that it is an academic discipline which enables true convergence researches. Our department is equipped with research labs for both science and engineering areas, so it is possible to learn basic science for the development of new materials and understanding of materials properties and applied to science and engineering for creation of devices by utilizing the properties of materials. In addition, we are offering a range of opportunity for students to interact with each other. For example, uh, almost every week we hold seminars by inviting erudite scholars in the relevant research areas, so students can have an opportunity to have interaction with them through tea time at the seminar. Moreover, students are fortifying foundations for convergence researches while learning and growing together through annual student symposium held through the initiatives of students. The educational goals we are pursuing to achieve is cultivation of creative and competent personnel. That is, we are nurturing outstandingly competent personnel who are capable of solving technological issues confronted by mankind through the development of emerging materials. To do so, we are currently focusing on three research areas. First, the development of next generation electronic materials and devices. Second, materials and devices to solve future environmental problems. And finally, bio inspired materials and devices for biomedical applications. All three convergence of researches in the areas of chemistry, physics, life science, and materials engineering. Such convergence researches can transcend the limitation of existing research areas and will elevate the value of material through encounter with new areas. We are aiming to lead such convergence researches. Hello, I'm Jae Jang, Department Chair of Information and Communication Engineering. Our Information and Communication Engineering Department aims to encourage students to develop international research skills in the field of Informational Technology IT. To do so, we've intensively educated students on key areas of IT such as computer engineering, electronic system, and electronic device, along with concentrated education in basic science and engineering. Regarding research area, our department seeks to collaborate with various fields to conduct convergence research based on IT. We encourage students even with diverse backgrounds to apply to our department and we offer appropriate coursework for these students. Furthermore, we organize our key research area in a cluster form to support students conducting convergence research with other field of the department. We currently focus on cyber physical system, biomedical system, connected smart system, and intelligent computing system through research project with other department and research institute of TGIST. In addition, we have collaborated with overseas students in US, Europe, Japan, and Singapore, and have been dispatching students and conducting joint research. Uh, recently, since IT is regarding as a core technology in many fields, after graduation, high employment rate is shown in National, National Research Institute and leading enterprise research institutes such as Samsung, LG, and Hyundai Motors. Also, our department has the highest student preference of the department selection in digits. 
and the largest number of graduate students conducting research. Hello, my name is Jun Kim, an assistant professor in the Department of Robotics Engineering. Apart from traditional engineering and science fields, we focus on emerging technologies that can transform the way we live. Specifically, we envision the human-centered next-generation robots by pursuing the field-leading researches and educating highly motivated and collaborative students with strong multidisciplinary fundamentals. Out of many robotics-related technologies, we focus on three main areas. First is rehabilitation and surgical robots. Second is the micro-nano devices for bio and healthcare applications. And the last is the artificial intelligence and machine learning. Among other top tier research universities in Korea, DIGIST have the largest robotics department. Also, we are running a multiple global research centers while raising nearly 10 million USD dollars research funds every year. The department consists of 16 faculties and about 120 students, while about 10% of our student body is from overseas, including Colombia, Pakistan, India, Mongolia, and so on. Our faculty members and students are from many different majors such as electrical and mechanical engineering, material science, and biomedical engineering. And this is why we offer more than 50 courses ranging from advanced dynamics, machine learning, and micro and nano engineering. In addition, we present an annual scholarships to selected students to spend several months at world-class research institutes. We truly value the importance of building a harmonious multicultural environment where international students can pursue award-leading research and fulfill digits just like their home. If you want to become a robotics engineer, you can choose other universities around the world. But if you want to become a good robotics engineer who can make a great impact to our society, then you should join us here at Digist. I'll see you guys soon. I'm Dean Nam, an assistant professor in the Department of Energy Science and Engineering. Our mission is bringing scientific and engineering solutions for sustainable and environmentally benign energy resources. We have four core strategic initiatives for future energy, such as reinventing energy chemistry, revealing key properties of energy matters, computing the energy systems, and understanding the energy life cycle. Now, let's move on to the specific research areas in our department. Solar cells are electrical device converting solar energy into electricity. For this purpose, we are focusing on organics, inorganics, perovskites, and quantum dust-based next-generation solar cells. We develop fuel cells which directly convert chemical energy of fuel into electric energy with an eco-friendly way. To develop efficient, durable and cost-effective fuel cells, we aim to enhance and optimize the energy conversion efficiency and power density by understanding the structure-property relationship of new materials. We pursue better technologies for efficient and reliable energy storage and conversion. Based on fundamental understandings of materials, interfacial phenomena, and electrochemical reactions, we are focusing on better research which can enhance cell energy density, lifetimes, and safety. We explore energy harvesting technology that converts waste environmental energy sources such as mechanical energy, thermal energy, RF energy into electrical energy for small and wireless electronics. We study chemical processes using density functional theory for modeling energy conversion, energy storage, and photo excitation process. In combination with machine learning techniques, this mechanistic technology can be employed to define material screening protocols. Our slogan is Beyond Future Energy. Do you want to explore energy solutions for the future? Then you should join us right now. We welcome all ambitious students and researchers who are willing to develop future energy technologies with us. My name is Hyun Ejeon. I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Brain and Cognitive Sciences at Digist. 
In our department, we try to understand the operations of the mind and brain, which is one of the greatest scientific challenges facing human society in the 21st century. Our department comprises 17 faculty with primary appointments, as well as many closely associated faculty in the Korean Brain Research Institute. Moreover, we have two Nobel laureates, Dr. Wittrich and Dr. Nair, working as a distinguished chair professor and visiting us every year to advise faculty and students with their expertise in science. Our research includes a large domain of disciplines from behavioral, neural, computational, and cognitive sciences. More specifically, we have six different research areas such as neurodegeneration and metabolism, sensory biology and circadian rhythm, synapse neuroscience, neurocircuits and behaviors, computational neuroscience, biophysics, and quantum biology, and the last but not the least, high-level cognitive neuroscience. With respect to international connections, we continually strive to increase our global networking in teaching and research. All the core classes in the graduate program are given in English, so I don't think students from foreign countries would have problems in our department. And we also have a dual degree program with Maastricht University in the Netherlands. Regarding students' lives, we hold an annual student symposium, giving an opportunity for all members of the department to learn about the research and creative endeavors that are taking place across labs and across research fields. The study of the mind and brain is the last frontier in science. I believe that unraveling how the mind and brain works is the most important and essential step in understanding what makes humans human. So do you want to know how the brain works? Or do you want to explore how the mind and brain work? Then you should come and join us. We are very much looking forward to having you here. Hi, my name is Jun Kwok, and I'm a professor of new biology. In the Department of New Biology, we continuously try to tackle scientific and societal problems in food, energy, environment, and health that humans are currently facing. We take this responsibility seriously. Thus, we try to come up with creative ideas and innovative research that integrate the various sub-disciplines of biology and other disciplines of science to address those issues. Our graduate programs consist of courses that are designed to provide students with a solid background in an integrative perspective for convergence science and new biology. By the time students graduate, they will be equipped with analytical thinking, knowledge, skills, and experience that are required to become leaders in academia, industry, and other areas. To establish the Department of New Biology, renowned national and international faculty members have relocated their laboratories to DIGIST. Moreover, the department has successfully recruited new hires who have an outstanding research record and a promising trajectory. Together, the faculty develops diverse culture and research programs, which will further advance new biology. There are three research clusters in the department. They are CIPO Aging, CIPO Plant Biology, and Emerging Areas. CIPO Aging research includes comparative aging, computational aging, cognitive aging, and curative aging. CIPO Plant Biology research includes cell and molecular farming, computational farming, conservational farming, and creative farming. Emerging areas include nanobioimaging, systems and complex biology, and biosustainability biology. Our research findings have been published in high-profile journals, including Cell, Nature, Communications, PNAS, and so on. This speaks to the culture of scientific excellence in the Department of New Biology. We will continue making seminal discoveries that advance human knowledge contributing to sustainability. Please come to Digist and pursue your degree here in New Biology.
Hello, I'm Jong Won Ni, professor of the Department of Interdisciplinary Engineering, DGIST. Our department was founded to make a better society and the first future industry through convergence education and research. Interdisciplinary engineering conducts research and education on a wide range of new industries. In the era of the first industrial revolution, through interdisciplinary education based on the comprehensive design thinking. We aim to cultivate new talents into convergence of science and technology who have in-depth academic knowledge and practical R&D capabilities. Through the collaborative study with the DG's Convergence Research Institute, as well as an excellent education system of DG's graduate school, our faculty members who have dual roles as professors at the Interdisciplinary Engineering and as researchers at DG's Convergence Research Institute provide collaborative education and research guidance closely related to the latest R&D. Besides, we aim to get a distinction in education by focusing on collaborative and practical research with various problems. I'm Shi Jun Song, Professor of Interdisciplinary Engineering. We provide personalized education for each student by letting them select the research area depending on their interest by opening them broader fields and possibilities. For establishing the distinct education system and cultivating new talents who have strengths in practical R&D, we connect our curriculum with various research fields of the Convergent Research Institute, such as autonomous mobility, emerging devices, and advanced materials, components, and equipments. If you'd like to grow into creative and innovative science and technology experts or people who can respond actively to the changes in the future, come to the interdisciplinary engineering. I'm looking forward to meeting you soon on our campus. I'm Tiago from the Department of Information and Communication Engineering. The GIS hosts a yearly conference, the GIF, and I was selected last year for a poster presentation. It was a great learning experience. At that time, I needed some help, and my busy lab mates still found time to give me a hand on the preparation. This day I realized that success is possible only because of everyone working together. At the opening ceremony of the conference, Professor Gong Zhong Yang from the Imperial College of London was the speaker. His speech made me understand why me and all the other researchers and students work hard every day to create advanced solutions that will make life easier and happier for everyone. I encourage other international students to join us and experience the gist as I do, working together to keep changing our life for better. DGIS is a young but rapidly growing science and engineering university. DGIS is already ranked as one of the top 100 in the world in the recent normalized nature index ranking. This new university pursues research and discovery that benefits the public goods and assume major responsibility for economic, social vitality and well-being of the community and the world. DG's cutting-edge education and research is possible thanks to professors and researchers with worldly competitiveness and state-of-the-art research facilities. DG's research activities are possible with public and private research grants. Financial support is fully available for domestic and international researchers, graduate students, and undergraduate students participating in research. We invite you to join us to change the world at DGIST, innovative university changing the world through convergence. 혁신으로 세상을 바꾸는 용복합 대학. 우드바버니 프로젝트를 만드는 보리버터. 빈뉴아스테 이노벤트 선전 클릭. 두리아코 앞니 제디타. 인시에 무소 루시사. 유니버시티 이노바도라 캐미안 델무. 총신신 대학교의 이토연룸. 이노바티브 문우 바두니엔 날 이쁜. 아레타나테이어이 만카 탑존. 통신룸. 아네 콘버전스 지지. La sorte de mes élèves est dans la tête de Digist. 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 Digist.